Hey hi everyone welcome back to learn-automation.com this is Mukesh today in this video we are going to talk about how we can download and install python in windows so in case if you are working with mac linux or any other operating system then i will record a dedicated video on that but let's focus on windows today okay so in order to download python you can directly navigate to python.org or you can just go ahead and search for download python the moment you say download python you will get their official site which i already opened here so let's click here and you will see the latest version that we have currently at the time of recording is 3.8.5 okay so in case we're working for or in case we're looking for any other versions then you can come back here and you can see the different versions which is already available okay now they have also men mentioned that in case if you're working with 2.7 or any other uh, versions right then this is the end of support like at the end of 2021 it's already 2.7 is no longer supported right so i would highly recommend you to work with python 3 so we are going to work with 3.8 as of now okay and uh, let's see how we can download so before we start downloading let's quickly check do we have already python installed in our local system or not so how we can check just go to your search bar and search for python so in case if you already have you will get python otherwise you will get the search options so in our system we don't have python so let's start from the scratch so first of all i need to download this python so i will click on this download python 3.8.5 it's a small exe file it will take few seconds and it will download in our system yeah so you can see right now python 3.8.5 is installed so it's just like an exe file so it's just like we install normal software we are going to double click on this and it will start the installer so the moment you double click you will see it is giving you a couple of options in case if you want to customize the location and other stuff you can go to customize installation right now i'm not making any changes so by default my python will go into user folder app data local programs python and python directory okay i'm also clicking on this add python 3.82 path so that it will by default go ahead to my environment variable and it will uh, set up the environment variable for us okay so just click on install now and it will take okay it will ask one confirmation so just click on yes now it will take few seconds depends on your system and it will install python in your local system Okay, so now you can set up successful. So now they also have given couple of link. Okay, so you will find online tutorials and very beautiful documentation, which you can definitely refer. I would highly recommend you in case if you want to learn any programming language, not only Python, you should definitely read their official documentation because they will be give you in depth about each and everything. And in case if you want to verify whether Python is installed in your system or not, just go to this search and search for Python this time. And now you can see we have python in our local system which is python 3.8 okay so in order to cross verify whether python installed correctly or not just open a command prompt and just type python space hyphen version okay it says we need to say python hyphen hyphen version so just you can see python 3.8.5 installed in our local system and we also can verify whether pip is installed or not because pip will help you to install a couple of libraries so when i type pip and hit enter you can see it is asking us give additional command like what exactly you want to do with pip right so you can see a couple of options we got that do you want to install do you want to download uninstall a freeze list and there are a couple of commands which comes with pip so don't worry once we move ahead we'll talk about the pip as well how to use pip but for the time being just make sure that python is giving proper version or not in case this python version is not giving it means something is wrong with your installation or the environment variable is not set okay in that case we can go manually and uh, update the environment variable then we can again use the python so in case you are not getting this python version okay i will show you how you can manually uh, add into the environment variable so let me show you why, where exactly our python is installed so let's go to c drive then go to users folder so if, if you remember when we were installing python it was telling us the exact location so we are just going to the same location so we'll go to users 
then we will go to app data then i will go to local then i will search for program and then you will find a python directory so this is exactly where the python will be installed in a local system so this is your home directory of python 3.8 okay so in case your your terminal or command prompt is not able to detect where the python is then we need to go to the path variable and we need to give this path so this is the first path that we need to set and another path that we need to set till script if you go to script you will find a pip that we will be using once you move it so definitely you need to set the path till home directory and the script as well okay so let me just copy this path and i will right click on my computer go to properties and click on advanced system settings and you will find here environment variable so guys i'm using windows 10 in case you're working windows 8 or 8.1 you will see a different UI for environment variable. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to go to the path variable. Again, small disclaimer, do not delete this path variable. Okay. If you delete this path variable, you will be in trouble. Many of the programs will not work after restart. So do not delete this. Click on add it. Okay. And once you come down here, you will find number of path is already available okay number of environment variables so what i will do i will click on new here and i will give the path till home directory then i will again click on new and this time i will give the path till scripts okay so just come down and just click on new and add till the script this is only required when Python is not detected by your command prompt or by your system. In that case, you need to do this. If it is working fine, then you don't need to make these changes. Okay. So I will click on OK, click on OK, and I will continue. So just open once again command prompt and just type Python. So you can see by default it is giving you an idle which is kind of a small editor where you can write your programs so either you can go directly from here or the moment you write python you will get this editor where you can write the small program okay so let me quickly check whether python is working fine or not so what i will do i will just write a print method and i will say hello mukesh hit enter and you can see it is printing Okay, let's do some other thing. Let me do 10 plus 20. Hit enter and you can see it is giving me the result. It means Python is working fine and we can continue with our programs now. So this is when I open Python from command prompt. But the moment you open idle, which is again a Python shell here also, you can do the same thing. You can just write your first program. Let's say print statement. And let's say I will just say hello user. And you can see we are getting the output similar way if i say 10 plus 90.89 and you can see we got the output okay we'll talk about the data types and the arithmetic operation in detail one by one this is just to check whether installation is correct or not so now when you do a basic program this is fine we can go with this idle and we can continue or we can just go with this um small editor but the moment you start writing the complex program or the big programs definitely you need one ide okay so ide stand for integrated development environment there are a couple of ide available in the market like visual code eclipse pycharm you can go with any editor so in this complete series i will be talking about pycharm so let's go ahead and install one ide where we will be writing our actual code so i will just search for pycharm and hit enter you will get their official site so actually pycharm is a product of jetbrains okay so if you have worked with other uh, product of jetbrain then we have intellij as well so right now we are only going to deal with pycharm so it's a very famous ide for python so again it has two variants uh, the moment you click on download it will give you two options to download one is the professional edition and one is the community edition now right now i'm working with windows so i will continue with windows but in case if you're working with mac or linux definitely you need to go with their respective installer and you have to continue i will click on windows and right now if you see we have two addition 
uh, one is community and professionals so definitely professional one is paid we need to continue with the free and open source one so i will click on download it will take some time to download because it's a lengthy file around 295 so let it download then we will install pycharm so now pycharm is downloaded again it's a exe file since i'm working on windows so i will double click on this exe file and it will start installing pycharm on my local system okay so now it's just like a normal software how we install the normal software click next 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 and install so in the same way we are going to continue just click on next now this is just a destination folder where exactly they're telling here pycharm will be installed and just keep a, a note here that you should have a sufficient space right now it is asking the space required is 761 mb we already have enough space so it should not give any issue let's click on next and now you can see it do you want to uh, create a desktop shortcut so i will say yes do you want to also create our default you know extension is dot py i will say yes and click on next but in case if you don't want to select these options you can continue click on next and again just additional information click on install again wait for a few sec seconds and you will see pycharm will be installed on your local system so it's done now so let's click on finish and yeah let's start pycharm so just click on windows and search for pycharm and yes here we have pycharm community edition 2020 click on it and again since we are loading first time it might take few seconds again to get started so now again you need to confirm the agreement so click on confirm click on continue and again it will ask you data sharing i will say don't send yeah and it will take few seconds and finally it is giving few additional option okay now again it was asking you do you want this theme or this theme so this is actually known as dark color theme and this is the light theme again you can change the settings anytime so as of now i will continue with the light theme and i will click on next featured plugins so again here they generally recommend these are the featured plugins do you want to use them or not right now we don't need all of them so whatever plugins we have to use we will download and install separately as of now continue using default pycharm so start using pycharm yeah so here's the pycharm window you can click on the new project you can open existing project and you can also get the project from the version controls as of now since we are getting started you can click on new project okay you can also see we have configure option in case if you want to configure pycharm at the starting itself we can do that but these settings we can do after opening the pycharm as well so as of now let's keep it default and click on new project so expected it will ask you give me the project name okay so by default you can see all the projects will go under this location so in case if you have to uh, verify a couple of things go to this location and you can verify your files so right now i will say uh, this project name is python tutorials okay and click on create do not make any changes once you move it we will be talking about these things in detail so as of now and you can see by default there's one checkbox that create a main.py file which is nothing but a welcome script if you don't want you can uncheck this one for the time being i have clicked on it because this is the default checkbox click on create and now pycharm will start okay so you can see it is saying creating virtual environment so don't worry we'll talk about the virtual environment as well so what exactly is virtual environment here so again uh, it is giving a couple of tips i don't need these tips so i will click on close okay so now pycharm is up and running and you can see we got main.py file which is nothing but a sample python script generated by pycharm so again you don't need to worry about this or python script that is coming by default just to cross check whether everything is running fine or not we will simply run this program and we'll see what is the output so you can see right now it is giving output is pycharm right which is high pycharm in case if i change it to let's say mukesh utwani it should give high mukesh utwani so don't worry we'll talk about how it is working in detail once we move ahead so as of now it is just doing a print statement yeah so everything is done now python is installed pycharm installed our scripts are running fine now in the next tutorial we'll discuss about the data types and other important things from python so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and if you like this video definitely please hit the like button share with your friends and i will see you in the next videos have a nice